Andoni, good afternoon. Welcome good afternoon. to Bournemouth. Welcome Thank to the you. Premier League. If I could take you back to the first moments when Bournemouth made their approach to you, what, what was that like for you personally? How did it happen and, and what was your thought process when you got this initial approach from the club? Uh, for me, it was a great opportunity, you know, because it's uh, Premier League probably the, right now, for sure, best league in the world. Also, I like a lot of things about the club. We knew the, the club. Uh, I always talk about a lot of set pieces, you know. We were familiar with the set pieces. We had some players that were the same as, as Bournemouth. It was the first thing that came to my mind when, when they approached. And uh, now that I know the club a little bit more, now, now that I, I've seen new faces, I'm, I've known new people, uh, I'm sure it's uh, the right choice for me. I hope I can be at the level, but I'm 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 really grateful and and the, the welcome the welcome has has been uh, for me very 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 nice. Have you ever had a connection with the club before? Have you ever spoken to previous managers? Have you ever watched Bournemouth play? Yes, obviously the games uh, I had watched before. Uh, I didn't have I don't know any relationship. Probably they have. We, we know Eddie. We know Eddie. He was there in Madrid visiting us, and and obviously we talk late. Uh, also now Jason, Jason Tindall, and uh, we had talked previously about Bournemouth, but uh, not anymore. I think. Mikel Arteta, the Arsenal boss, has said he's happy that you've joined Bournemouth and the Premier League. I believe you have a relationship with him that goes back to when you used to play with him when you were 13 or 14 years old. Have you spoken to him about the Bournemouth job, when you got the approach, and is there anyone else you've spoken to about the Premier League before you decided to take the job? No, Mikel, I know him. Probably we played together with 19 years old. It's true that we kind of lost the relationship. We know that uh, once we meet, we're going to give a hug and we can talk about a lot of things. But uh, we haven't kind of maintained the relationship. I can call him right now, but it's not that uh, we we are the ones who talk uh, every single week. And uh, obviously, I know uh, players, coaches from from other clubs that have worked in other clubs, and everyone's talking very good about Bournemouth, about the Premier. And the first days I've been here, the I think it's. Uh, everything easy for the coaches here because clubs make us our work uh, very easy and uh, now we have to to do our job to do the, thing, the correct things and uh, to get the results the Bournemouth fans will naturally be excited about your appointment what can you tell them about your dna your philosophy and the style of football that they can expect to see next season uh, we want to be an efficient team you know, it's not like we want to be offensive or defensive now, efficient team. Uh, the, the, the teams I've coached, normally we try to play as high as we can on the pitch, try to play with a high rhythm, uh, try to have a good offensive volume. There will be some times that we get beat, our press gets beat, and we have to stay low and defend low in low block. But I don't think we want to be there. and. Uh, I don't think we are comfortable with this style and we will try to to be proactive with and without the ball. There's a lot of talk at the moment about transfers. Naturally, Premier League transfers are huge business in, in Europe and, and the world. Have you had the opportunity to speak to the board about what you would like to do in the transfer window, the players you'd like to recruit and the type of approach you'd like? Yes, for me it's important they understand, and I'm sure talking to them they understand the way the team is going to play, the profiles we need, the things we need from the players from each position. And I'm pretty sure they understand and they are trying to do their best. They've been working for a lot of months and they know the market much better than me. And they know the players much better than me. I will help the club, I will give my opinion, I will... Uh, tell them if I think one player can fit well in our system or not. But I don't think managers should be the ones signing the players. Have you been given a 
budget or a number of players or anything like that? Have you had those conversations? No, uh, truly, I, I'm much more focused on knowing the players we have. For me, are new faces. We have to know the ones we already have that we have them training and uh, know where they can play in our system, what position they can they can occupy to perform. And uh, obviously, there will be new signings. But I'm not so concerned about the new the new signings because I have a, a lot of work to do before, and, and and I know the club is is working on it. And just finally, for me. The, the club was taken over in November by Bill Foley and his consortium, which included Michael B. Jordan, the Hollywood actor. Have you had the opportunity to, to have long discussions with Bill and, and build that relationship because he's so passionate about the club being successful? What's he said to you about the job and the role and the targets that he wants you to achieve? Yeah, Bill is, is an owner that is willing to improve everything in the club. We can see it from the first day, new facilities, he's thinking new stadium. How can he help more the, everyone involved in the club, the players, the staff? And uh, I think it's very good. He has also the sporting culture. He's been also successful uh, this season with the Las Vegas Knights and I think uh, he wants the best for AFC Barmouth and uh, we'll try to help him. Thank you. Anthony, what, what is the target for this first season? If, if I could offer you 17th place, would that be enough? Would you take that today? I don't believe too much in long-term goals, you know. I am more focused, OK, we play West Ham, let's get prepared. We play Anfield, let's get prepared. At the end, we have to be realistic. It's true that Probably the main goal will be, OK, we are next season again Premier League. But I'm much more concerned about how we are going to do it, how we're going to arrive, how we're going to uh, play, how we're going to improve the team. And uh, we'll take it game by game. Let's stay prepared. I don't, the long-term goals, OK, you start the season, you don't start well. OK, the goal will be to remain, you start very well and then you start thinking about other goals. Okay, don't, I, I, I feel that it's, it's much logical to, to, to think game by game. Fair enough. You said the team will be efficient. I've seen ex-players and people who've watched your Real Vallecano side describe them as chaos but fun. Is that a fair description? Uh, I think that... Uh, I don't like the, the games to be too controlled, you know? You are on the ball for 30 seconds and then they are on the ball for one minute and I prefer some kind of, even if we are not so, so clinical, so sharp, we try to attack as soon as we can. We open, uh, we open the game, we, 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 we have a good volume of crosses, of, of chances, even if sometimes, okay, when, when you want to play high, when you want to arrive, sometimes you will, you will suffer at the back, but we have to be ready. I, have, we, I think we have good defenders also. We have to stay compact, even if we are high, we are low. But uh, I, I don't want to say, to use this, this word you, you talked about. Fair enough. What, when you're looking for the players here and new players, they can all play at this level. What is the, the one attribute above all others that you need from your players? Uh, we need commitment. We need commitment, especially uh, we, the way we want to play. We need everyone involved, everyone involved offensively and everyone involved defensively. And it's one of the things that I liked more about the players we have. I think the forward players were playing past season they all were really committed, they didn't give up, they were not one less without the ball. And we want to maintain this because that's the, the A for me. We start from there and if everyone is committed, we can survive better. Our, our idea is more collectively, you know, okay, each player has his individual things to do, but okay, what I do for my team that makes my teammates better? How can I help my team? Uh, that's what I want the players to think. And you mentioned how Eddie came to visit a couple of years ago. 
he helped shape so much of this club. It still has his fingerprints on it. In the last few days and weeks, have you tapped into that knowledge and you know asked him about your new colleagues and about the the town and everything? Yes, obviously, everyone here talks about about Eddie. That's a sign that he did a lot of very very good things here in in Bournemouth, and I'm happy that he has been very successful also now in 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 Newcastle. But, you know, every coach has his own ideas. And there are some things that uh, we should maintain from previous manager also, some things that we will do it our way. And just finally, there are, there are giant clubs in the Premier League, just as there are in La Liga. I wondered if when you first walked around the stadium, you saw similarities with Real Vallecano. Yeah, I think that uh, when you start the season, this sense of kind of the underdogs, you know that we have to gain a little bit of respect, you know, from the from uh, the league or whatever. It's pretty similar because uh, yeah, probably I don't know because of the stadiums being not so big or the clubs don't have probably the history the other clubs have. But uh, I think we have to use this for our advantage, and I'm used to. To be like this in, in in Spain with with Rayo, even with, with Mirandes, and uh, I think uh, it's it's good for us. Very best of luck. Thank you. Hi there. Yeah, you've already spoken about Mikel Arteta, but you and Mikel come from that same small region in Spain as also Unai Emery and Julian Lopetegui. What do you think it is about that area that produces great football managers? I really don't know. It's something strange because it's not a big area, we are not so much. But um, I think it's really nice, it's really nice. I've coached against Unai and, and Julian, I haven't coached against Mikel. I have. I think I haven't even played against him because he has uh, been almost all his career in, in England. But it will be very good for me to see some familiar faces and, and their level as coaches is it's top for me. It's very high, uh, and I, I could say the same from the other coaches in the in the Premier. So, for me as a coach, it's really really big challenge. When you look at someone particularly like Unai, who has won trophies with Spanish teams, he came back to England last year and has done a great job with Aston Villa. Is that almost an example that you'd like to now follow? I think I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not in this level, you know, because he has showed a lot of things before. But uh, for me, it's, it's uh, someone that has been really, really successful almost everywhere. Uh, he's very good as a coach. He, I think he's a very, very good coach. Uh, set pieces with the ball, without the ball, how they prepare for the games tactically. And uh, it's uh, something logical for me that uh, he has been so good, so good in, in Aston Villa. Have you spoken to him or will you, will you seek to speak no, to him? No, 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 no. We have spoken sometimes, but uh, uh, I haven't talked to him. And you were asked about transfers, and I know uh, Justin Cliver has already, already come into the club. A, a player of that calibre, does that just show that Bournemouth can attract some of the, some of Europe's top, top players? Of course. I think uh, Bournemouth is a very attractive club for the players, the ones who play in all the leagues in in Europe and for the ones that play in, in other clubs in, in England. I think uh, we have to choose well, we have to uh, select where we need the players and what kind of players we we need, but uh, for sure it's an attractive club for, for the players. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.